In the section titled Drafting with Units and Coordinates, you'll see a number of different drafting entry modes. The first mode is Cartesian Coordinates. You'll notice in the bottom left corner of your screen a UCS icon with a Y and X axis. Cartesian Coordinates, or Absolute Coordinates, are all relative to this 0, 0 point. Cartesian coordinates are in the form x, comma, y, comma, z, with x being the distance from the origin along the x-axis, y being the distance from the origin along the y-axis, and z being the distance in the z-axis. In this section of the book, you'll be drawing a number of house plans using different input methods. To start the house, you'll use Cartesian coordinates the first time you draw it. The first point you'll need to input is 1616. First, start the line command. And when it says specify first point, type 16, 16. That begins a line at 1616. Now I know I need to draw a line 16 units straight up, which means it's going to be in the same location on the x-axis, but 16 units higher along the y. In other words, my next point will be 16, 32. The next point is 12 units over in the x-axis, but my y stays the same. So that point will be 28, comma, 32. The next input method discussed is Cartesian relative coordinates. Instead of being relative to 0, 0, or the origin, each point in relative Cartesian coordinates is related to the last point you chose. So to draw my next segment, which is two units straight up, I would just type at to let AutoCAD know that I want relative coordinates, and then I'll say 0, 2, which means don't go over in the x-axis at all, but go up two units in the y-direction. Similarly, the next point will be at 2, 0, to go over 2, but not up or down at all. You can also input relative coordinates using a polar method. Polar relative coordinates consist of a length and an angle. So for my next segment, I would put at, but the length of this line is 2 units. And then I'll put an angle bracket to represent an angle, and my direction is negative 90. Next, I need to go over 12. So I'll say at 12, the angle symbol. And since I want to go straight to the right, my angle is 0. Finally, the method you'll see a few pages later in the book is referred to as direct distance entry, or point and shoot. To use this method, we'll have to turn on one of our drawing tools called Ortho. If you move your cursor down to the bottom of your screen, in the status bar you'll see Ortho. If you see symbols here instead of words, right click and uncheck use icons. Turn on Ortho and it should appear blue. And you'll notice now that as you move your cursor, you can only draw lines vertically or horizontally. So what you do in the point and shoot method is you point your mouse the direction you want to draw your line, you enter a length, such as 2, and press enter. Just continue to draw this building using direct distance entry. Point the mouse to the right and enter 2. Now I can't use direct distance entry to do this bottom right corner of the building, so I'll have to use something like relative Cartesian coordinates. I'll say at minus 4, comma minus 4 to go down 4 and to the left 4 units. Then I can finish out the drawing using direct distance entry. Be sure to try and draw the entire floor plan using each of these methods.